Hi guys, welcome back to some more action with Dundee United. We've got a, a vital game coming up now in the league. Um, at the end of the last episode we had two games uh, with Finland. I've done them off recording as um, I'm not too worried about Finland. I've actually decided that if when the contract comes round for renewal, if they decide they still want me, I'm going to reject it. As I think if I was going to take any job, I'd like to take the uh, the Scotland job. Just obviously we're in the uh, we're in the Scottish League. It'd just be nice to take the Scotland job, and that will be uh, the only international job I'll take. Otherwise, I'll just focus on um, on Dundee United. But we've got a job against a uh, job a game even against Aberdeen, who are second. They're nine points behind us, so we could do with having a win in this game just to help us out and get us get us back on track. Um, Thanks for all the, uh, the the comments in the uh, in the last couple of videos. Um, one comment was really interesting: the fact that um, a Zogway potential is 68 max. So it looks like a Zogway, I believe, it could be on his way out this um, at the end of this season. He's on 66 at the moment. Is a Zogway, so I do believe I am going to um, get rid of him at the end of this season. Cash in on him and look to bring in someone younger and better. But we've got this home game against Aberdeen coming up, who, wow, unbeaten in our last three, beat St Mirren, beat us, and beat Hearts. Only a 1-0 victory against us, which sort of is a bit worrying, as the other two teams, Hearts and St Mirren, both scored against Aberdeen, whereas we couldn't score, but we did limit them to one goal. But 25 minutes into this game, and finally, Wild puts Aberdeen 1-0 up after 30 minutes, coming to half-time, and it's still 1-0 to Aberdeen, but Sifty makes it 1-0 just after the break. Couple of substitutions, Dow and Ottenali have both come on. Lascelles has been sent off, so the final 20 are going to be a bit difficult. Coming to the final five, it's still one all. And that's how it ends. One all. Lascelles sent off. And we were down to ten men for the final 23 minutes. So player suspended, Jamal Lascelles picked up a one match ban. Julian Guerrero, his role isn't what was being offered. Okay, mate. If uh, if you think you need to be on your way out, well, you, to be honest, you were going to be getting a few more games. Uh, I think it's going to be you and Ince for the rest of the season. Um, right, another goalkeeper. I don't need to worry about another goalkeeper, so let's reject you and 65 potential max. Let's reject you. Um, okay. Adam Campbell uh, wants to go in the next transfer window, and so does Josh Murphy. I could have sworn there was a uh, some news about the uh, Euro. Uh, sorry, not the, about the youth team. But we'll uh, have a look. In fact, I tell you what, let's go and have a look at the youth team now. See, see if any of these were any good. Right, so 84 Max for Gersic. Joao is a central midfielder, 76 match, so let's release him. Right mid, James Mard, between 87 and 93, very nice. And Bjorkman looks like he's going to be a cam, and he's going to be between 75 and 81, so it might be worthwhile keeping him for the time being. We'll keep our eye on all of those guys, though, and we'll look to sign some up potentially. At the end, of, towards the end of the season, we do have seven hundred thousand in transfer budget and twelve grand in wages. So, game cup against Ross County. Um, right, Lascelles is out, isn't he? So we do need to look at changing him. I'm going to bring Ua back in goal. Lascelles out, Sutar in. We're going to have Guerrero. And Ince for the time being. Lopez will give you a rest. And I'll give Garate a game. I'm going to give Campbell a game. Uh, Lascelles is off the bench. And let's have Murphy on the bench. Dow, Otsonali, Murphy, Cavero, Declan John. Everything looks to be really good for the bench. Azogwe's gone up to a 67, he was a 66 last month. Uh, we just must have just hit the start of the month, yeah, 5th of April. Right, so, interesting set of results for Ross County. Lost 2-0 to Kilmarnock, 3-0 to Motherwell, but then beat St Mirren 2-1. Boyd is out, injured for them. 
It'll be nice to get back on track and get a win. Uh, Guerrero looks to be injured, but it's not that bad as he can stay on the pitch for the time being. Sutar booked. Britain puts Ross County 1-0 up. Um, Otsonali has come on for Guerrero. Ince has been booked. Final 20. Campbell has done nothing. Ross has put Ross County 2-0 up. Dow on for gold. And interesting, no change up front. Still only... Uh, We've got Benzia and Sifty on the bench, but still they didn't bring on another striker. Um, that's interesting. Uh, Guerrero out for eight weeks, and Lascales has completed his suspension. I believe now we have the split. Yeah, 33 league games. So we have the split, and we get to the final uh, final five games of the season away at Celtic. Let's just have a quick look in the calendar. We've got Celtic away, then Hearts away, then we have Aberdeen at home, St Johnson at home, and then we end with Motherwell at home. So we'll probably get this season done and hopefully make it to the uh, to the end uh, and see what the budget is for next season in this uh, in this episode. I was hoping to be for it to be about twenty minutes, but we may roll on a little bit longer. Depends how long it takes to get everything done. Right, let's see who the assistant says to me. It says Blanco, Kane, Fernandez, Cavero, Ince, Otsonale. I don't want Ince. Actually, yeah, we'll have Ince in there because Guerrero's out. Gomez, Dow, Murphy, and it's saying put Benzia up front. I'll stick with that team if that's what it says to put out. Right, away against Celtic. I'm not expecting much. Wow, Celtic won their last three. Vincent Johnson, 3-0. Hearts, 2-0. And Motherwell, 2-1. McGregor puts Celtic 1 up after just 7 minutes. Robertson has been booked after 15. It would be nice if we could get back on to an even keel before half time. Nope, McGregor puts Celtic 2 nil up. Final uh, 35 minutes, final 25 coming out. Stokes scored a penalty and then missed a penalty. Stokes scores another penalty. Ince has been injured. And the game ends 4-0 to Celtic. So it's a pretty poor episode so far in terms of results. Um, uh, experiment with the team dynamics. You may be right with that. I may look. Um, so the default is the 4-2-3-1. The four, 4-4-2 uh, four, four, diamond wide. Could be, could be worthwhile going to, to that. Four, two, three, one. I wonder whether to go to two up front. Mm. Let's try two up front. We've got these few games left, so let's try two up front and see what happens. We've got Wilson, Suta, Laskelis and John, Azogwe. I don't want Klassen on the right. Who else can play on the right? Can Sifty play on the right? He can play on the right, so let's have him up there. Let's have Benzia up front just for the time being. Cam, we don't want you. Let's go with Lopez. Hopefully it's not game day. And then Benzia has time. Yep, no, it's not. Benzia has time to uh, to get refreshed. Youth player wants out. Uh, Okay, so Edward Gerzik wants to cancel his contract. Let's go and have a look at this fella. So, eh, yeah, you know what, let's release him. You know, we can release Bortman, and the only one I'm going to offer a contract to is Mard. I'll leave it till, uh, till about May time, and then I'll offer him a contract. Which we're nearly in May, to be honest. But right, Benzia, Campbell, Lopez, Zogwe. Okay, is there anyone else better? I wonder if Otsonali is fully fit and have him. Yes, he is. Declan, John, Robertson. Let's have you there. Wilson, no. Let's have Kane. I'm going to try and go with the best players. So we've got one, two, three, four. All the midfield is seventy rated. 
Nacho Fernandez, 72. See, we've got a decent team there. It's just they're not in any sort of form. Right, away against Hearts. Just get past this game, get a draw out of this game, and then we've got home games coming up, which we could do with winning all those. So, well, Walker has put Hearts 1 up. I was going to say, keeping them down to a clean sheet or 1 would be good. Just scoring for us would be good. Robertson sent off, so that's not going to help us concede, keeping them down to just one and then us uh, trying to score as well. So, oh well, Murphy and Gold both scored in the 75th minute, but Hearts still lead 2 1, and that's how the game ends. And we have another office player suspended, that will be Robertson suspended for one match. Thanks, fella, really needed that from you. Guerrero is saying thanks boss probably for playing him but he's been out injured um, Chief Exec, the media have gathered ok I'm going to try and motivate my team and see what happens Campbell once again wants to leave, Murphy wants to leave and Guerrero is saying thanks even though he's been out injured so I really don't get this game at, at times Right, so let's have a look, see who it says to play where, and then I'm going to alter it as I see fit. So in Kane on the right, which I'm not going to do. Who can play right mid? Anyone? Klassen. Dow can play right mid. Interesting. Sifty Benzier. Gold, Grealish, Ince, Nacho Fernandez, Cavero. Morale seems to be okay for most. It's just the form we're really lacking on, but we are... Let's manage my team, I don't want to do it to the assistant because they'll change it all. Um, Robertson... Who can I put? I'll put Ericsson on there. In fact, actually, Murphy can go on there because we could do with a... Uh, um, Right, um, yes, <sighs> Aberdeen, this is a game we need to win just to get some form going. They've lost their last two, so we might be playing them at the right time. Hopefully, we can get something from the game. Paul that puts Aberdeen 1-0 up, though, after the 25th minute. Sifty makes it 1-0 after the 36th, so we're not doing too bad as uh, the second half is underway. Garate on for Gould. Lascelles has been booked. Sifty puts us 2-1 up. Can we hold out following? Benzia missed a penalty. Will that be crucial? The answer is no. We get the 2-1 win. Fantastic. Murphy came on, which was a good sign. Suspension over for Robertson. Looks like we've got a bit of a break now, only a three-day break. So we'll make a, a couple of changes. As, uh, Lopez wants to discuss his wage. Uh... Didn't we already do this, fella? Marcos, like, five grand, and what do you want now? You want 15 grand, and you want a two year bonus. Uh, sorry, not bonus, two year extension. You know what? Yes, yeah, sod it. Um, transfers. Oh, I don't want to do that. Let's move some more over to wages. Nope, don't want to do that. Right. Away against St. Johnson. Time to make a couple of changes. Um, the skill is out. Stutar in. Grealish, Murphy, Declan John. No. Let's give Murphy the game. Class and Dow. They're the only two, really. So let's have. I want Campbell up front. Gold. Marcos Lopez. Can you play anywhere else, Marcos Lopez? No. Um, yeah, let's stick with that team. Uh, Gold can play left mid as well. Interesting, he can play left and right wing. So we could potentially go to a 4-3-3. I'm sure Sifty can play right wing. Gold, left wing. Means a lot of the cams we've got are uh, redundant. But we'll just have to see. So, St Johnston got beat by... 
Celtic beat by Motherwell and beat Aberdeen. Interesting. So Murphy looks like he's injured in the first 10 minutes. Ince booked as well. Rojas puts St Johnson 1 0 up, but Wright is then sent off. Benzie is on the score sheet finally. 1 all at half time. Grealish on for Murphy. Kane booked. Facing 10 men, hopefully we can get a winner. Garate on for Marcos Lopez. Campbell finally gets on the score sheet. Hopefully that gives him a bit of confidence. And we take the game 2 1. Absolutely fantastic. And we have a game against Motherwell. Um, I want to mention our satisfaction in the quality of football we are seeing from the lads. Interesting. Murphy's broken a tibia and out for four months. Rowan Ince has picked up a suspension. So it gives, it gives Altenali a chance. We are down in fourth place. We could do with the, to beat uh, Motherwell sorry, in this final game, who we are playing, and get back up into third. Contract offer accepted from Marcos Lopez. I'm not surprised. An extra 10 grand a week for him. So let's skip forward to the right day. Final game of the season. Um, so we know is it Gold can play. Uh, so it's Dawang or Gold, isn't it? Um, Garate. Dow. Who's going to be the best? Who's got the best crossing now? Dow's crossing is 57. Gold's crossing is 52. So I probably want Dow there. In fact, actually, what's Grealish's crossing? 68. So Grealish there. Actually, Grealish isn't really that fit, is he? So, no, don't want Declan John. I'll keep Sifty there. Ince, Otsunale. few players are a bit knackered. Let's have Robertson back in. No, I don't want Ince on the bench. What you want. Let's give Klassen a bit of time. Marcus Lopez taking you out. And let's have Ericsson on the bench. So let's get this final game done at home. Hopefully we can get some, something done. Looks like uh, Mother will have a few... Uh, Problems. We've got Kerr suspended, Hamill and Vigors both uh, both injured. So it would be nice to get a, to get a win and get above Motherwell into third place in the league. Troyari has been booked early doors. Coming up to half time, Lascelles has taken a slight knock. Kane has put us one 0 up. Francis Angol has come on. Stuta has come on for Lascelles. Francis Angol has made it one all. Coming to the final ten. Can we get a winner? No more changes and no more goals. A one or draw to end the season. Um, player injured. Lascal is out for seven days. Ince has completed his suspension. Looks like we have a couple of games with Finland. I'll quickly get these done. It's 2015 so there's no cup competition. And because we lost the last two games we've lost quite a lot. Um, my position is under scrutiny and Guerrero has returned. Um, damn it, I didn't really want to end the season. I wanted to... Scout report. 84 max. Let's sign him up. 75, let's reject. 65. Reject. Um, Longer for Tyler Harvey has expired. Cardozo has returned. Return. He's returned. He's returned. Tassie has gone on loan and gone back. Um, I need to try. I'm going to try. Um, and see if I can get to the. I want to try and get to the youth squad. Um, cause if I can get to the youth squad from here, I can actually um, bring in or sign up the guy who I want to um, sign up sign up the youth player that I want to bring about. See, there's no, it's not letting me do anything right now. So let's. Um, 
Before the season started, we set you the target, qualify for Europe. Euroleague performance wasn't as we hoped. Excellent showing in the cup. Interesting. So let's quickly move forward. Yeah, I was hoping to sign up the the youth player in May. I didn't realise, obviously, because it's Scotland, I keep on forgetting that the season ends. The, the end date for the season is May, and it's not like the other um, where you start you end the season in June in other leagues and you go straight to into the summer transfer window so I'll tell you what let's quickly sign him up now um, there's gonna be a right winger between 63 and 67 so offer contract five years sweeten the deal £750 a week and that uh, another right mid yeah let's offer both of these guys contracts so let's have a quick scout at the season's budget he's 1.1 million and a wage budget of 5 grand ok a couple of minutes, I'm going to probably roll this to about 25 minutes in total. I'm going to look to sell some players. One, two, three. Obviously, we have four keepers. Um, I'll look to let Jesse Gonzalez go on loan again. He's not really improved as much as I hoped he would. One, two, three, five, six central defenders. Johnson is hopefully going to go out on loan again, although I may just sell him. So he's not had to transfer list, there we go. Um, John and Robertson, Kane on the right, so we could potentially do with a right back. We've got Dow, Garate, Gould, Marcos Lopez, Guerrero, who is already transfer listed, Ince, Otsonali, Azogwe, are due to the transfer list, half a million you're worth. Gomez, your transfer listed. Grealish, staying. Murphy, let's keep you for the time because you're injured for three months. Klassen out on loan. Murphy, we'll try and use you. And I've got Benzia, who's up to 73 rated um, and he's valued at 2 million. Campbell is 67. Harvey. If we're sticking with the the four two the four four two diamond wide, we're going to need four strikers. Sifty is up there as well. Um, obviously, yeah, we know about getting rid of those two centre mids. Do, 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 do. I'm honestly starting to think we're going to need Bozinic add to transfer list. I need a keeper that's seventy plus. I think. Um, Kane is going to be good for a right back because we've got Les Geles who can act as backup there. Um, so we've got Stuta, so Suta, Fernandez, and Les Geles at the back with Cavero and Cardozo as cover. Johnson goes, John and Robertson on left back. Kane with Les Geles as cover or Fernandez as cover on the right back. We've got Dow. Uh, Garate, we can potentially look to let go. We've got Dal Gold and Marcos Lopez. Um, my re main reason for letting Garate go is the fact that he's 20, but he's rated. In fact, we could let Dal go. He's 23 and 65. Uh. I'll let I'll let um I'll see what you guys think of that one. Do who do we let go? Dow or Godate? For me, Dow will potentially be the one to let go because he's he's rated less than Garate and he's he's three years older. Um, but we shall have to see. Um, let's quickly skip forward a little bit just to see what happens. I don't need to worry about my youth report. Mard has accepted his contract and Elm has accepted his contract skipping through here we go to the start of July nice place to leave it 
stop the simulation. There we go. Right. Um, training injury. Campbell out for three days. Ah, oh, Euroleague. So we're expected to reach the quarter final. Transfer market is now open. Domestic Cup reached the quarter final. Elm has accepted his contract. Mard has accepted his contract. I've not seen what we're meant to do in the league yet, so I'm going to have a quick look. Is it in my career? Um, yeah, 2015 2016 season. Win the league title. Reach the quarter finals of Domestic Cup. Reach the quarter finals of the Euro League. Okay, that's pretty interesting. Let's just confirm that here. Win the league title. Yep, that is what the board want. We're still... Are we a three-star team or have we gone up? Still a three-star team. I think another... Um, I think I do think I should look to invest in a goalkeeper. I think that is the first thing we could, we could do with, with dealing with is getting a goalkeeper in someone... We need someone 70, 75 rated just to give us that bit of bite. I think striker wise we seem to be okay. Um, and yeah, I just think a goalkeeper is the best thing to do, best thing to look at. First of all, start with a goalkeeper, then look to sell players. As we sell players, look to strengthen the squad elsewhere. We've got a couple of new guys coming. In fact, let's have a look at those new guys quickly now and see how they are rated. Um, Mard is 66, Elm is 59, so Mard will keep, Elm can be put up for loan and um, let him, we'll hopefully get him out on loan, get him some uh, get him some good uh, good loan experience this season, he's 16, he's rated 66 um, yeah, these two guys are transfer listed, Gonzalez He's loan listed. Obviously, I'm hoping he is going to improve really soon. Klassen, we've already just picked up a couple of decent right mids. So Klassen can now be sold. Elm is going to go on loan. Ericsson is going to go on loan. Um, and then Harvey, I want to keep him playing the 4-4-2. Cardozo is back up. Murphy. Murphy, could be time to let you go, you know. If we've got... Um, Mard and Elm, so you know what, Murphy, sorry mate, let's let you go. John we're going to keep, Cavero we're keeping, Dow, it's between Dow and Garate isn't it, as to, I think it was between Dow and Garate, yeah because Garate is 21 and 66, Dow is 24 and 65, so it could be that Dow is the one to lead. Uh, Mard is going to stay and hopefully be given some decent amount of game time. Azogwe is already transfer listed. Murphy is going to try and play on the left, give him some time this season now that we are playing with the 4-4-2. Uh, the Gomez is leaving, hopefully. Guerrero is hopefully leaving. We have younger and better, as in Ints. Kane is sticking around. We may look to get back up for Kane, someone younger. Gold is definitely staying. Sutar is definitely staying. So is Lascelle. Sifty is. Lopez is staying. Robertson is staying. Otsonali is our best CDM. Uh, Fernandez is definitely staying. Although we could look to potentially bring in someone younger that's maybe rated the same. So someone younger that's in the 70s and cash in on Fernandez. He's on 25 grand a week. Grealish is. See if we can get so if we can get a cent a centre back who is like Grealish, 19 and 72 rated. And we can get rid of Fernandez. Benzia up to a 74 now, 2.8 he's valued at. We need, we do need a, a, a keeper who is, I'm going to sort this by position now so you can see there, we've got 66, is 66 and 65. So what we are going to do is Ua will be sold. And we'll, cause we've got Blanco who is rated 1 less but he's six years younger but anyway guys i've been talking for an age i'm going to leave it there if you have any suggestions on goalkeepers let me know we need a goalkeeper look to rated minimum of 70 let's start at the back get a good base to the team but guys i will catch you all later thanks for watching cheers